What's up guys, I'm back. And today I'm going to talk about something more serious, something a little personal, obviously as you can tell. But you know, what do I not share on the fucking internet that's not personal, so. <laughs> I'm going to be telling you guys about my very first heartbreak. <laughs> just kidding, I don't care. First things first, um, I just want to make it evident that some point in your life, you're going to get heartbroken and you're gonna break someone's heart. It's inevitable, like it's just, it's gonna happen. So, brace yourselves. And this story I'm going to tell you guys is actually about the first time I fell in love and I was never even in a relationship with this person but they still managed to break my heart. Yeah, okay, Matt. I was just, you know, I was young, I was stupid, I was way in over my head. And if he's watching this right now, I mean, look where I'm at, bitch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like, I don't hate him. I don't have anything against him. I hope his life is going well. Um, but yeah! <laughs> so, once upon a time, there was a boy, and his name was Matt, and he um, moved to Ohio and went to high school at West Geauga High School. It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. He met a boy. Wait, 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 backtrack. I was still in the closet at this point. Just to give you that background knowledge, I um, wasn't gay. Well, wasn't gay. Anyway, I meet this boy. Uh, he actually had a girlfriend at the time. So actually it's funny because him and his girlfriend went to homecoming and then me and my girlfriend, I guess you could say, went to homecoming with them. So it was like this group of us and I was like with this girl but the whole time I was checking him out so it was just really awkward. <laughs> time passed and me and this kid became like best friends. Like we hung out all the time and we just got super close. And I, the first month I was like on cloud nine. I was like in love with the kid, like head over heels and you know, he didn't really know it because I really wouldn't make it evident that I like had feelings for him but I still like, we still flirted with each other, we like told each other we loved each other and we like kind of would like hold hands like in a joking way. Um, wow, like how is he not gay? Now that I'm thinking about this, like, what? Three months into our friendship, I guess you could say, I was like really falling for this kid and it was like around my birthday, actually it was the night before my birthday. This was like the first time I ever confessed my love for anyone and the first time I actually even like addressed the fact that I was gay and that I had feelings for a guy. So it was like really fucking hard for me. It was the night before my birthday and I basically just typed out all my feelings for the kid and in hopes that I could hear something back from him that would lead to something of us being together. So I sent him this really long paragraph, basically confessing my love and telling him how I felt about him and how I couldn't just be best friends with him and it was really just killing me inside to keep this from him, so I sent it to him. I don't really remember what he responded because I blocked out those memories so much now, but basically, in a nutshell, he responded with like two words. Something like, okay, cool. Some douchebag response, like, okay, we've been friends for three months, the least you could do is at least respond with, like, sentiment, you know? But, you know, I fell in love with a fucking doorknob. This kid who has no fucking emotions, that made it even better! <laughs> he responded with, what he responded with, I don't really remember. Let's just say he said K, because it was something like that. And, um, it was like the worst day of my life. And I never really told him that. I like read it and I like started breaking down crying. Um, wow, like I'm actually getting emotional right now. Wow! Anyway, that broke my heart. Like, shattered my heart, actually. After that happened, we went on winter break and I was just super depressed. I wouldn't talk. I just was so out of it. And then we come back to school and he really wouldn't even like acknowledge my presence in the hallways or even talk to me, let alone even look at me. And that, I think, is what made it so much worse is because we both knew and we both saw each other almost every single day and I just had to live with it. It was great. But now looking back at it, it's like, Matt, you're such an idiot. <laughs> like, you literally fell for a straight kid who has no fucking emotions. He was like a sociopath, honestly. I mean, no judgment, but the kid was fucking crazy. Following that, junior and senior year, we would go like on and off friendship, like we'd be friends for a few months and then we just wouldn't talk and then we'd be friends again and like it really fucked with me internally because I would like keep telling myself like oh maybe he's like coming around to it, maybe he's like 
coming around to being with me. And this entire time of all this, I was in the closet. So I had no one to talk to about it. I couldn't cry on anyone's shoulder, you know, like I could never let it out. So I think that entire like event of my life, like just built this fucking wall inside of me that just like closed me off to so many people and to like so many opportunities of relationships because I always was so scared of being rejected and so scared of being left. So like, I just, I just didn't want anything to do with anyone. And that really fucking sucked too, so thanks again, asshole! The end of senior year comes around, and I really didn't talk to him at all at this point. I was kind of like, I wasn't over it, but I was like, fuck you, like, I don't want anything to do with you. But I still, like, had feelings for him. Um, so, honestly, it took me four years to get over him. <laughs> I wasn't even in a fucking relationship with him. Wow. My very first heartbreak was in the closet, in high school, with a straight dude who didn't really want anything to do with me relationship-wise. So, if I can get through that shit, then I'm pretty sure anyone can get through a fucking heartbreak. <laughs> Basically, at the end of it all, what I have to say to you guys is, you're gonna get heartbroken. It's a part of being human, you know, we have emotions, like, sometimes we fall in love with someone who doesn't love us back, and I want you to know that that doesn't make or break you. He could have been in love with me and we could have had this relationship. We, it could have been amazing. But either way, no matter how much we love each other or we don't love each other, it doesn't make or break who you are. I'm here and I think that I'm a lot stronger than who I was in high school. I'm out and I've been in relationships after that. I've been able to love again. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not all there. <laughs> but I would say I'm a hundred times stronger and resilient due to it. So I just want to say thank you to you, mister, I'm not gonna say your name, you know who you are, for staying true to yourself, you know, as fucked up as that sounds, he didn't cave on who he was because I was in love with him. Like, yeah, he did fuck with my head a lot, you did, you asshole, but, you know, I can love again, and you can love again too. <laughs> and any of you who are in love with straight guys and you're gay, I'm sorry, just please don't, just give it up. That is just a snowball of problems waiting to happen. And it sounds harsh, but if you can really avoid falling in love with someone that you know is not gonna have feelings for you, then I think it will make your trip of life a lot easier. Um, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> so that's my little heartbreak story. Four years in the closet, in love with a straight guy. Been there, done that. Check, it's off my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and anyone who is heartbroken right now, know that it's gonna get better. With time, your heart will heal, you know? It sucks. It fucking sucks. Not gonna lie to you. If you just can focus on you, focus on your future, focus on something that brings you up instead of focusing on that person who has brought you down. But yeah, guys, my camera's literally about to die, so I love you, thank you for watching, feed the good wolf, you know, all that stuff. And don't fall in love with straight guys, if you're gay. If you're straight, go ahead. Do your thing. Alright guys, bye.